everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be decluttering and organizing our junk drawer or more accurately our junk cabinet. I gotta say I'm just constantly amazed at how we can just fake a clean house by shoving all of the crap in a drawer or a cabinet. I mean just look at that. I would not have guessed that this is such a messy space just by looking at it from the outside. Actually, can we just like rewind that for a second? See, like totally, totally legit, but <laughs> this is not sustainable long term, so I am going to declutter this today and hopefully just get it organized because it is something that clutters my mind and bothers me and whenever I go in this drawer, I can't find anything. So it's time to take care of this today. So first I'm just going to start by taking everything out of the drawer and then kind of sorting it into different piles, different categories. And then of course it wasn't long before I realized that I was definitely going to need a garbage bag right there because there was just lots of paper trash and stuff like that that needed to get thrown away. Exhibit A from my drunk drawer is a notebook that my three-year-old had taped shut. I can't get it open. I'm not even going to try. It's just a mess, so I'm just going to throw this away. And here is the guide for our cable channels. I've been holding on to this thinking we might need it, but we have voice command on our remote, so there's no way we're gonna use this. I'm getting rid of it. And some of you might think I'm crazy, but I am getting rid of this Bed Bath & Beyond coupon, even though they don't expire. I just don't really need anything from there. I don't see myself needing anything anytime soon. So I'm just going to get rid of the coupon. Just a little food for thought here. So I don't know about you guys, but I literally use like three things out of the junk drawer on a regular basis. That's things like scissors, tape, and maybe like a pen here and there or post-it notes. So all of this extra stuff in here is not being used on a regular basis. So I'm really just trying to consider, do I actually need this? It's literally been months since I've come in here for anything other than the scissors or the pens or whatever. So do I really need all of this extra junk in the house? Here's the manual for our smoke detectors. We have two. We definitely don't need two. I'm going to keep one here, but now watching this, I've decided we don't need the other one because when are we ever going to use that? So now that the drawer is all cleared out, I'm going to start putting in some dividers to organize. I'm just using things I had around the house like this box from my Bible. And it's funny, I mentioned Apple packaging in my last video and I'm using it in this video as well. This is from an Apple Watch. It's great for pens and stuff. Like I said in my last video, Apple packaging is just so great to save for organizing and things like this. And here's another box from Apple. So if I ever come across good packaging or boxes from anything, I will save it for organizing in the future. So now I'm just starting to put things back into the drawer that I'm going to keep in there. And then I also have a box down there where I'm putting things that need to get put back in their rightful place. Some of the stuff in the drunk junk drawer is just misplaced stuff throughout the house. Here's another Apple box that I'm using. 
So I'm just putting stuff that needs to get put back in the bin and then obviously any garbage goes into the garbage bag. So things I'm keeping in the junk drawer, like I said before, are things that I know I use regularly, like scissors, tape, pens, maybe a couple batteries or something like that. I'm trying to just keep it as minimal as possible and putting only stuff that I know I'm going to use regularly, regularly into the drawer. Moving on to the cabinet portion, I'm just again taking everything out and sorting it and just kind of deciding where it needs to go, if I'm going to toss it, if I need to just put it back, or if it is going to stay in the cabinet. So here I am flipping through a book from a Bible study that I did quite a while back. I've been holding on to this for years thinking that maybe I will go back and go through it again or reference it, but honestly I just think the odds of that are not very likely. It was a great Bible study. I got a lot out of it. I remember a lot of the things I learned. I still apply them today. But I just don't see myself going back through the book, so I did decide to get rid of it. And here I am flipping through it again, second guessing myself, and now it finally makes it into the recycle bin. We all have those things that we just feel like we need to keep because we might come back to it or use it again. But realistically, if you've been keeping it for a year or even just like six months, it's probably not going to happen. And here is a box of stuff that I was supposed to mail out months and months ago. So I am going to put that right by the door so I remember and make myself take it to the post office to mail. So here is the finished product of the top drawer. Like I said, just miscellaneous kind of household items that I use regularly. Some of this stuff is Aaron's and I'm not really sure where he wants it, like the remote thing and the other electronic type thing that I'm not even sure what it really is. So I just put it in there so he can deal with that. And now down below here in the cabinet, I have my own tool kit, which is actually a makeup case, but I have tools in there for random stuff. And then just some other things, some packing tape and stuff like that. So this is all of the garbage and recycling that came out of the junk cabinet. These were both empty when I started, so just look at that. 
These are all things we carry with us that weigh us down. And this is all stuff that is going to get put back in their rightful place. Now, if you have things that you don't really have a rightful place for, I feel like it's definitely time to do some decluttering. That's kind of my gauge is if I start to accumulate all these things that I don't have a place for and I have a hard time finding a place for it because there's no room, it's definitely time to go through some stuff and do some purging and make space for the things that I really use and enjoy. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Maybe you can relate to it. Maybe you found it helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more decluttering, organizing, and cleaning videos. Also, I want to know, do you have a junk drawer in your house? Or do you have more like a junk cabinet or closet like I do? So let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. Thank you again for watching and you have a great night. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.